In this video, we'll go over 6.3 or more question number 10. Ah, oh, sample size problem. I love these. All right. A researcher wishes to estimate with 90% confidence the population proportion of adults who eat fast food four to six times per week. Four to Is that difficult? Not really, right? I can eat Taco Bell like three times in a row. Four to six times per week, though. Oh, okay. So let's see. Estimate. Her estimate must be accurate within 4% of the population proportion. So what are they saying? It could be 4% bigger, it could be 4% smaller. So when they say 4% margin of error, we're looking at 8%, 4 times 2 is 8, right? 8% 8 um, percentage point, point to be the width of this confidence interval. So how wide do we want this confidence interval to be? 8 percentage points, because 4 to the right and 4 to the left together, they make up 8%. Um, if no preliminary estimate is available, find the minimum sample size required. Now, I used to do this using formula, but I told you how my my student, Nicole, she found out a way to do this on StatCrunch. So I'm just going to show you how to do that here, okay? So, look, we're looking, we're working with proportion, right? Population proportion. So go to proportion stat, click on one sample. And I think the one that she told me about what's the power sample size. I'm going to click on power sample size. And then I'll go ahead and go to confidence interval width. Confidence level is 0 0.90. That's what they said, right? They want to estimate with 90% confidence. So that's why the first blank right here is 0.90. When there is no preliminary estimate available, go ahead and type in 0.5. We're saying, hey, there's a 50-50 chance. We have no idea. So we're just going to go with 50% chance. So whenever there is no preliminary estimate available, make sure you type in 0.5, okay? All right, width, like I said, the width is 8%, right? Because we want we, we want the margin of error to be 4%. So twice the margin of error is the width of the confidence interval. So width should be 0 0.08 or 8%. If I click on sample size, they're going to give us that the sample size required is 423. 423. Next, um, find the minimum sample size needed using the prior study that found that 42% of the respondents said they eat fast food four to six times per week. So now they gave us a target proportion, right? Instead of 0.50, we can tell them that, hey, we know this was 42% before. So we're going to change that to that. I want to change the width to 0 0.08 while keeping it the same. If we hit compute, we're going to have a smaller minimum sample size required, 412. So we have we get to survey like 11 less people if we have some idea of um, what the population proportion is estimated to be. So how do results from A and B compare? Having an estimate of the population proportion reduces the minimum sample size needed because we know a little, a little bit more about the population. So we don't have to do as much busy work, right? Serving more people. So that's how you would do the sample type, a uh, sample size problem.